Earlier, uh, investing in our infrastructure, we've been living off the investments our parents and grandparents made a generation ago. Uh, thanks to what Congress has uh, been able to do in the last Congress, we provided $1.2 trillion in the bipartisan infrastructure package, the Inflation Reduction Act, the CHIPS Act. All of these have provided funding to invest in our people. And we're seeing those investments taking place. And I can go over a whole list of several hundred millions of dollars of, uh, that I brought back here to the Valley. Uh, I talked about uh, health care and critical. We've been working to get a medical school here in the Valley. We have a shortage of physicians. We have shortages of nurses. And uh, working very closely with the University of California, San Francisco, and UC Merced, with Community Medical Center, we have a residency program that we hope to turn into a full-fledged medical school. And we're working with a lot of partners in that effort, along with uh, Esmeralda, at the state level, uh, because it's a state-federal partnership, along with a lot of these water efforts. I would be remiss to say uh, that we have a broken immigration system, and and it's been that way for a long time. We came very close to a bipartisan effort in 2013, when John McCain and others led this effort. It passed the Senate 68 to 32. There were Democratic and Republican votes to pass it in the House. Unfortunately, Speaker Boehner was unwilling to bring it up to the House floor. A lot of the immigration issues we're dealing with today would be resolved if we had passed that measure. The Farm Worker Modernization Act, I was one of the principal co-sponsors. We passed it on a bipartisan basis in the House. Unfortunately, we couldn't get traction in the Senate. We could still stay with it because we had this broken immigration system. And you know, some of the hardest working people you ever meet in your life, the Campesinos, uh, you know, are, are challenged. Uh, we have, we believe are over 2 million undocumented people here just in California alone. And they are some of the hardest working people you, you know, and they pay taxes and they contribute. So we've got to fix this system. 